Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be resurfacing this tray that I have had for many years and it has had many lives. I probably had it since 2016 or 2017. Um, so as you can see, it's pretty beat up and I decided I wanted to use some of these Dollar Tree Jenga-like pieces, wood pieces, to resurface the entire um, tray part of the tray. So I, um, use the first box of Jenga pieces or Jenga like pieces I should say to do a chevron pattern and so as you can see here I'm just going through and making the pattern um, setting up the pieces to make the pattern for the entire tray I obviously am not gluing it down right now I'm just trying to figure out the mapping and the spacing for everything so that's what I'm doing. I did have to use at least five or six of these boxes of Jenga-like pieces from the Dollar Tree. Um, and since the Dollar Tree is no longer $1, it's actually $1.25 now. Um, that came out to, what is it, like eight bucks probably. Um, I did pick up this tray originally from Goodwill. It was a $5 purchase. Um, going in with another set of those uh, Jenga like pieces. I'm getting to the top here. I'm getting to the point where I can't use full pieces anymore. Um, so once I got to the point where I couldn't use full pieces anymore, I did go ahead and I bought one of those hand saws from Dollar Tree and I used that to cut the pieces to fill in the rest of the tray with, you know, custom pieces <laughs> that had to go in. This did, however, take me many, many moons to do. This took me, this whole project took me about, I wanna say like two months to complete. Once I did finally complete it, as you can see, I'm using the polyurethane, um, just clear polyurethane in a satin finish. To seal and finish up this tray, I am going to be placing a lamp on it temporarily um, until I get my light fixtures installed in the condo. Um, but eventually in the future, it will just be like a tray to be used as a side table for any drinks or any like catch-all items um, in my living room. Um, so as you can see, I'm just going in, making sure I'm getting every spot. I did do only one coat of this, the recommended on the, um, on the can of polyurethane says two to three coats, but I don't have guests over the, that often and I don't plan to use this on a daily basis. Um, and I still use coasters. I'm not sure if anyone else uses coasters, but I do. So, um, you know, there won't be a lot of watermarks on this. So I don't anticipate, you know, a lot of moisture getting in between. So I just did one coat. Um, I did glue down with wood glue and I did fill in the spaces as much as possible. I don't expect anything to come through the cracks. Uh, but this is the finished product. I have it placed on top of my dog kennel right next to a chair that I thrifted in my living room. And that is the complete tutorial. If you like this type of content, like and subscribe.